Hello and welcome to New Start Now. I'm Don McIntosh. We're glad you're with us. And we're glad that Dr. Michael Orlitz is with us. Thank you for being with us, doctor. Glad to be with you. Uh, you're a doctor that has uh, experience in family practice and also you're boarding now in preventive medicine. And you've worked for a number of years here, even at Weimar, with the New Start program. That's correct. Uh, one of the things they espouse here, or in other words they recommend, is that people go on a, a largely plant-based diet, if not fully, and one of the concerns that we get a lot, a lot of phone calls we get, so you're going to help us clear this up, mm -hmm. is what about vitamin B12? I heard that this could be a real problem. Is that a problem? Why is it a problem? What should we do about it if it is? Vitamin B12 deficiency can be a very real problem. It can cause uh, serious diseases. Um, it can cause problems with your blood, a special type of anemia, but more critically still is it can cause damage to your nerves. Mm. And this can lead to psychiatric and neurologic problems that could be quite serious and if not caught soon enough, could actually be irreversible. So it's a very important thing to know about. Now, um, you know, do many people get this? Um, do many people have these problems? Have you ever vitamin seen a case? B yes, I have seen a case, unfortunately. Um, uh, vitamin B12 deficiency is not common, uh, but it, 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 is, um, it is somewhat prevalent. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, it relates to uh, disorders of the gastrointestinal tract where the vitamin B12, for one reason or another, is not able to be absorbed well. Mm. The other population that's particularly at risk for vit vitamin B12 deficiency is the elderly. Mm -hmm. Often the elderly get on a sort of tea and toast diet, and so they're not getting in much vitamin B12, and they don't absorb it as well. So mm. as you get older, the requirements for dietary B12 go up. Now, you know, I don't want to put you on the spot. This is kind of like a true or false question for me. But I've heard someone said that most vitamin B12 deficiencies occur in people that are meat eaters. Is that true or false? That is true, and that's because of the reasons that I just mentioned. Um, mm -hmm. Most of the vitamin B12 deficiency is not due to not getting enough in the diet. Rather, it's due to gastrointestinal problems interfering with the absorption. However, uh, vegetarians, particularly vegans or total vegetarians that don't eat any uh, animal-based foods, no milk, etc., are at higher risk of developing vitamin B12 deficiency. And as you know, at New Start, we do teach a plant-based diet as mm -hmm. a therapeutic diet and as a preventive diet that can increase your longevity mm -hmm. and uh, reduce your risk for a variety of diseases. But we want to be smart about it and we don't want to stumble into another problem while we're solving others. So what can we do to avoid you know, a deficiency in this? It's really very simple. You just need to have a, a known quantity of vitamin B12 in your diet, either in pill form or in fortified foods. Plant foods do not have naturally occurring vitamin B12 mm -hmm. in any level that you can rely upon. Okay. Now you may see things in, uh, in um, health food stores and that sort of thing that claim that certain seaweeds and things have vitamin B12, but this is not really true vitamin B12, and you can still have deficiencies. So we would recommend either a multivitamin that you take every day that has a very small amount of vitamin B12, okay. or you could take a vitamin B12 tablet, say once a week or even once every two weeks, and that would be plenty, or you can eat foods that are fortified with vitamin okay. B12. This could be a lot of boxed breakfast cereals, uh, many of your soy milks and other products have vitamin B12. So you don't need much, it's very easy to get it, but you want to be conscious of that so that you don't become deficient and suffer needless problems. Thanks a lot for being with us, Dr. Mike, and thank you for being with us. We hope that the information you gain today will give you a new start right now. Mm -hmm.